We are in Tallinn, Estonia. A group of 11 officers begin their training to become cross-border crime detection experts. The officers come from eight EU countries – Poland, Spain, Greece, Italy, Romania, Lithuania, Estonia and Germany. I expect to learn uh, crime detection techniques in new uh, environment, for example, maritime, which is completely new for me. To have a network of uh, cross-border um, crime detection officers and to share our knowledge on different areas of expertise and to have the same level of understanding regarding how to perform in uh, Frontex operations. Estonia is the perfect place to host such training. Our borders are very unique. We have all types of borders, what you only can guess. So we have sea borders, uh, we have land borders uh, with uh, all different parts, uh, river border, lake border, land border, and also air border. Uh, I think we are a very good base for, for such a training or other trainings uh, Frontex is conducting. There are many criminal challenges at EU's external borders. Drugs, weapons, people and good smuggling are only some of them. During this training we plan to have theoretical parts uh, covering uh, the, the fraud of documents, for example, the cross-checking of different type of documents, uh, interviewing, communication, but also uh, practical exercises when it comes to the ram of vessel, the search of buses or search of cars, uh, covering all type of goods that can be smuggled. It can go to drugs, then to cigarettes, tobacco or firearms. Europe needs experts who will be able to spot different types of crime. Frontex trains them so that they can be deployed at Europe's borders. This training is unique. It covers exercises at land, sea and in the port, preparing officers for many different scenarios. And the focus is on practice. Participants learn to detect and prevent cross-border crime, including migrant smuggling, document fraud, trafficking in human beings and terrorism. Some 200 kilometers east of Tallinn, at the edge of Europe, lies the city of Narva. It is the biggest border crossing in Estonia and one of the busiest between the European Union and Russia. Here, participants learn how to search vehicles, passengers and prevent crime as well as terrorism at car and railway border crossings. We'll start this second week of training with this bus exercise. The participants will be shared into three groups and they will approach the bus exercise trying to do a good and a methodologically correct search of the bus. Each group will be charged of searching the bus cabin, the luggage compartment and the luggage and personal belongings of the passengers. Who asked for the documents and took the documents? Uh, we missed the trophy. We found tickets uh, from uh, Azerbaijan to Moscow and furthermore a coin from Turkey. We found a gun inside uh, the compartment. What I like about the course the most is that it's not only theory, just presentations and handouts, something to read, but also a lot of practice. We are participating in a whole variation of uh, activities. Uh, we are performing real-life situations. I'm sure after this training we'll be well prepared for our deployments. I am happy I have met uh, so many colleagues from different countries with different expertise. Uh, I think it's very important for all of us that uh, we know each other and we can rely on each other, uh, having the same level of uh, information and understanding on what's happening and what is to be done in a Frontex operation. The first cross-border crime detection officers course was organized by Frontex, the Estonian Maritime Academy and the Estonian Academy for Security Sciences.